Right now, cities along the southern border are bracing for an increase of migrants after a federal appeals court rejects a Republican-led challenge to keep Title 42 in place. That Trump-era policy allowed authorities to swiftly expel migrants who crossed into the U.S. from Mexico, citing health concerns over the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, the court ruling will allow the policy to end next week and sets the stage for a challenge in the U.S. Supreme Court. But for many border cities, resources are already strained. In El Paso, Texas, authorities are grappling with a surge of over 2,000 migrants daily. CNN's Ed Lavendera has more. It's 39 degrees and getting colder. This is Roberto Cordova's first night sleeping on the El Paso streets. He says he's never experienced anything close to homelessness. He left Cuba last month and is hoping to get to Miami soon. He says this is the first time in his life he's ever had to spend the night on the street and he feels completely lost. A thin pair of New York giant socks and unlaced shoes won't be enough to get through the frigid night. Everything that he's wearing now, um, the jackets and the, the heavy clothing, he's donated people who have dropped it off here. Roberto hopes there's something else to keep him warm in the back of Sandra Grace Martinez's car. For days, she's handed out donated goods. They're on survival mode. It's fight or flight for them. The long lines of migrants from Juarez, Mexico, waiting to get escorted into El Paso by Border Patrol agents has significantly dwindled. A sign that perhaps this latest migration surge has slowed down for now. But that could change next week. With the Title 42 public health rule set to expire, that order allows for the swift expulsion of migrants at the border. As more migrants arrive in El Paso, officials plan to bring in more buses to move migrants to their destinations in the U.S. faster, hoping to prevent a backlog of people on these streets. And so with that, that might bring in transportation in forms of buses to get them to that transportation hub, whether it's Dallas or Denver or Phoenix or whatever that next large airport or bus terminal is, it's to move them on to those locations. El Paso emergency management outreach teams are helping migrants find shelter space at night. But Albert Robles and his wife have been sleeping on the street, buried under blankets since Monday night. Their bus ticket to Connecticut isn't good until this weekend. He said the first night that he was sleeping on the street, it was drizzly and cold. It was almost like a fatal feeling. Uh, but he thought, you know, he's been dreaming of this moment for so long that there was no way he was going to turn back. City and county public officials have been meeting with the federal government, including customs and border protection officials. They're all in the process of planning and preparing for what's to come next week, if and when Title 42 is lifted on Wednesday. Ed Lavendera, CNN, El Paso, Texas.